picture of Lance Gross, but he's smiling in a world of sadness in a sense. What's that cartoon where Jay Z uh, are still, still in work? Ain't that the four 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 mixtape? Yeah. Oh, is that an album? It's an album. That background, the darkness or the black and gray of that background, was kind of implemented in this. But him being in color just represents happiness from inside. The colors of the past kind of get mixed up or shifted around because the past doesn't matter. Can't really see the past anyway. Neither can you change it. But the future is what is present. You know how they say everything in life is black and gray, though? You ever heard that really? I mean, for a dog, you <laughs> I'm just saying, some people will see that as like a perspective. Like everything around you is black and white. Almost saying, like, just see everything for what it is. Oh, you, get what you know what's funny? I think I have heard that before. Yeah. Somebody said that to me. I just see everything for what it is. So it's almost as if they're telling you, don't take anything for more than face value. Okay. Until, until maybe you dig deeper into it and then you see what's what. But you can even refer that back to where we at how we're wanting to see more of what's out there because everything around us is just one type of way. And living a good life, happiness comes from within. And you can't search the world for happiness because you'll never find it. No thing can make you happy, no one can make you happy. You gotta make yourself happy. How did you make yourself happy? By giving yourself purpose in every day to day life. So was it like a process that you had to put yourself through in order Actually, to? I had to find a schedule. I had to find myself. I had to find just being able to That's what I want to get, get up. How did you find yourself? That's what oh, I'm trying man. to ask. Like what got you to this happiness? What did you have to go through while finding yourself? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but just, I don't know, just a lot. I'm trying to have my own bit. I think, I think, what really made me find myself was trying to have my own vision and just trying to put more thought into my art. Cause then, like I said, it's a reflection of me. How I see the world, what I paint is a reflection of me. It's not a reflection of anybody else. So all of this is a reflection on me and what I see in the world. And I have to realize that. And then once I realize that, it's like, okay, my perception of the world. The world has, <laughs> excuse me, shaped the way you see it too. So, you change changing lives. You gotta change yours first. Okay. In order to change somebody else. I almost look like a face right here. I don't know, maybe you just, maybe you see the demons. I see, ooh, I see, ooh, shoot, I see it. See oh it, gosh, the whole head, cheeks, all that. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the demon that's releasing and that's not happening or something. Mm. Yes. Maybe it's like dead weight. Mm. I think, I, I swear people be seeing stuff that, I um, I swear I don't be seeing until somebody says something. I mean, somebody has to analyze your work in order for you to question something that's up to two heads are better than one. So question, are there things that you still need to forgive, either yourself or other people on you, to move on? I feel like I did. I feel like that's why I made this piece, to try to like put in a piece to move on, to acknowledge these things, because you gotta be I would, I would definitely say yes, we all do. No, I don't feel like anybody has completely forgiven themselves for everything that they've done in their life, mm -hmm. but something you can become at peace with. So you may not have necessarily forgiven yourself, but you're in the process. I think you have to forgive yourself for allowing other people to do some stuff too. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. For putting yourself in a certain situation because, because you, you didn't have to be in. You can also lose trust in yourself sometimes. Man, I never thought about that. Losing trust in yourself. What does that mean? To me personally, I would say it means losing trust in your ability to judge mm -hmm. the situation, mm -hmm. your ability to put yourself in a position to win. You may even think something is a good position for you and then talk yourself out of it. Mm -hmm. But you don't even know what it could be because you didn't want to put forth that effort just to see. Existence is just a thought. It won't matter. You didn't put the energy out there. You know it's crazy? I feel like you're on a bicycle or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about the position of the body, the the motion of the back of the head or the back half of the body. What's funny is I just told Steve I wanted a beach cruise. Like, this morning. I'm not on that. 
California, that's the thing that I have. I want to try this like a big one. Like maybe like a two-seater, you feel me? Two big wheels in the back, a decent size wheel in the front. Dang, you might just invent it something. I'm telling you. Water break. Oh, man. You know what's funny? I be seeing a lot of these lessons and they don't be hitting me until later. Even like Crown Make You King or Save Yourself. I say these things and I mean them wholeheartedly, but I really don't get them at the time that I say them. Almost like I get them, but they don't apply until like later in life when something happens. It always happens like that though. That's just part of the process. That could even be like more of you just putting, this is more like you speaking in a sense. Mm -hmm. You just doing it through pictures. So what if this is like you just speaking it into existence in a way? People do say a picture is worth a thousand words. What's crazier is how long these, these gonna live past me and I wonder what 2,000 years is gonna be like from now. Is this still going to apply? That's, that's what I hope. I hope that I really tell the future with my paintings to make them work for me. That's, that's what I'm really, that's my whole thought process when I paint. To try to say things that are relevant now, but are also in the future. From people being of color to color not mattering in my, stuff to sometimes color even matter. They just, they just gotta be willing. Yeah. Whatever, whatever that is, that they, they would have to be willing to do, they just gotta be willing. Why is it so cloudy? We're in dark times and the sun can't really shine anymore, so it has to come from within. You know, it's a cloudy day. Nobody likes cloudy days. A cloudy day can ruin your whole day if you let it. And a cloudy day is better than a rainy day. Most cloudy days don't need the rainy days. Unless they just pass it over. <laughs> Figuratively, though, like, so think about it in people's lives. If you having a bad day, it can lead to a worse day. If you continue to think it's a bad day. Yeah. Right. And I think being happy too is the last thing I'm gonna say. Being happy has to deal with being in the present. If you enjoy the moment, enjoy actually what's going on now, you'll be much happier because you're not thinking about all the stuff that's happened before. You can't change nothing in the past. I can't even change what I just said, literally. It's over. It's crazy how you can't change the past, but the past can change you. You, know? mm. you can change the future. Though. That's good. Yeah, man. Forgive to move on. Make sure you forgive. Write three things down that you need to forgive and do those things. Whether you gotta call somebody and tell them you forgive them, however you gotta do it. Just make sure you forgive so that you can move on. It's not about forgiving for them, it's about forgiving for yourself. If you live forever, give you a plug, you know what I'm saying, let them know what's up. TLC, man, Charlie and Kane, y'all know what it is. We here with it, you feel me? Hold it down. Peace, love, positivity, you know what it is. But I'm doing something different today, see you, bitch!